All right, uh, down at my local park, but uh, it's been a pretty stormy morning. Uh, rain, all this morning winds, um, breezes up. Problem with this venue is we get these uh, two puffs. If we get breeze, comes down that valley and comes down that valley. Confluence is right here. So you can be flying along and then you just get a sudden downdraft effect happening. The wind also just rolls over those trees and drops down in this zone. Uh, you can see the palms and that waving around, so far from ideal. But I do want to just pop it up, give it a hover, give it a feel for it. So what are we in? We're in uh, low rate 6G linear throttle. So tame as settings. And we'll go from uh, go from there. Spool up's nice. Pretty good. That's basically a uh, hands-off hover. Given the headwind that's coming in there, that was pretty good. Uh, high rate. You can see it's very right. Flick the sticks. The uh, stabilization is really strong. Certainly helps with that self leveling. Colors are actually providing quite a good uh, contrast. The blue is very dark, so even up against the sky, you can see it. That was uh, kind of interesting. That's why I brought it around sideways like that. don't want to uh, damage this on a windy day like today but uh, let's just go 3G high rates still in the uh, 070 soft pitch curve oh that's very smooth actually I was wondering about the zero expo but um, yeah that, that's actually feels nice just rolling that around clearly a little bit of expo I'd say is set in the uh, flight controller yeah lovely that wasn't a hard pitch pump either that was just me just easing it up just to get a feel for all the controls Yeah, spring tension on the uh, E6 on the throttle side is a little bit high. It's it's quite uh, firm. I, I like my sticks to be uh, quite soft, uh, so I will just alter that for much more flying on this transmitter. But I'll jump it up onto either the Radio Master or a Devo 10 for future flights. I think. Yeah, you know these little E6 radios, boy, you know. Do the job nicely for the cost. Can't complain. Nice little LCD screen, programmable. Not bad. All right, we'll just keep playing around with this, just getting the feel for it. Um, feels very much like the E180, but I'd actually say this is slightly smoother. Oh boy, there, there goes the theory about Polarans versus DFC, eh, out the window. This is um, really nice, lovely feel to that. Just rolling that around. Um, boy, I wish my Trex 250 DFC was as smooth and as subtle as this. It's sort of an all or nothing. It's either bang and it goes or it's mush. Yeah. 
guys have actually obviously worked at getting the geometry and uh, fly barless uh, settings all nicely in sync on the rotor head. This is actually very pleasant to fly. Yeah, that's a nice feel. Very nice. tail responding uh, but it's, it's not wiggling or anything like that and there's quite a breeze up there be easy five mile an hour or more and here comes a wind gust right at the moment probably oh that's the easy 18 mile an hour you see how it popped up then just at the wind gust all right oh very nice Right, we'll just keep feeling this out. The um, that yellow and red actually really stands out, even against the um, greeny and sort of autumn uh, spring colours we got in the background. And the dark blue is really dark, so actually seems to be a reasonably good choice of colours. Actually, I wasn't sure about that when I first opened the box. Wind gusts, that's the problem. Fly low, we end in the deck if we're not careful with the wind gusts. There it is. Alright, we'll just bring it back in. Nice smooth flight for this, I'm not flying in heavy wind. Yeah, we've got sort of eight mile an hour peeling through here now, I'd say it's quite tricky. successful first test hover taking it ginger and windy gusty conditions pretty damn smooth I've got to say jeez it's very very nice can't fault that let's have a check on the battery and then we'll whack another one in and I'll get the battery charger running 